Welcome, welcome to, to Cinequest Video. Okay, and welcome to Cinequest Video, the podcast that delves deep into those VHS classics to the modern day format and beyond. Today we are going to be talking about the movie Surf Ninjas, 1993. I think I was, what, 13 years old again? Always. Actually, I think you are, you no, you, what were you, 83? 82, 82, 82, 82, 82. Whatever. 11. Uh, you know, I was actually listening to some of our earlier episodes, and uh, you went. On, you started off by saying that I was 14 in every episode. Oh, did I? Yeah. <laughs> and then it changed to 13. Eh, it's ballpark figure. Uh, no one can truly know the true age of Ray. I was uh, just trying to get some kind of a gauge on like how we've actually progressed or something like that. 13 and three quarters. <laughs> Poorly, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, the, the only way. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I mean, some some of them are a lot stronger than others. Like as mm. far as like uh, how we stick to these episodes and stuff like that. So. Oh. Mm. Regardless, uh, I'm your host Ray. When we have. Oh, this is Roland. And in Washington. Daniel. Oh, it's Dan. Hey, what's up? And Daniel. Right. <laughs> okay, so again, today we are going to be talking about the movie Surf Ninjas, 1993. <sighs> A runtime. Actually, I was surprised with this. I thought it was a lot mm -hmm. longer. It's a it's uh, an hour twenty seven minutes. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah it's about yeah. as long as the next movie we're gonna cover. Yeah, yeah. Right, roughly. Yeah, they're pretty. It was a pretty short movie, which I was happy for because I I was afraid it was like one of those two hour uh, shit kickers. Yeah, yeah. Like oh man, this I I, <laughs> I remember this fondly, but I don't remember that <laughs> at least that well for it. Um, we have the movie star starring Ernie Reyes Jr., which yeah. uh, prior to this came out in uh, Ninja Turtles 2 and was also mm -hmm. a stuntman Leo for Leo Donatello Nardo. in part one. And he was Leo Nerdo. No, he was Donatello. He was just Donatello. He was, yeah, he was just Donatello. What about in the second one? He was he was Kino. Kino, Kino, Kino. but I thought he also, <laughs> he, I thought he was also the, uh, one of the guys in the suits. No? Well, who cares if he was one of the guys in the suits? He actually starred in the movie. he's a badass. Movie. All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, we also have uh, the ever lovable, always Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider, <laughs> God damn it! Who, God I was, I, I was uh, looking, I was looking, I was like, what was Rob Schneider's real age when this movie came out? He's playing a seventeen-year-old kid. Yeah, what is he? He like, was 30, thirty years old. <laughs> he was thirty years old when he fucking did this movie. <laughs> oh man! And I was like, yeah, I'm not well, surprised at all. How old was Ernie Reyes Jr.? Because like he's older than we thought when we did the Ninja Turtles episode. Is he? Um, is he? I don't know. Shit. He uh, 1993. Like... When did uh, I think he was like 12 or 13 when he did Last Dragon, and that was the year of 85 or 84, rat. somewhere around there. So I mean, just count to 93. He's like nine years later. He's probably mm. 21, 20 somewhere in there. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sure. Yeah, but I mean, he he also looks very youthful as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um. If I thought I couldn't grow facial hair. Oh, no. Fucking dude was ripped, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a shocker. Kind of, kind of, it's really like a weird funny. contrast between his baby face and then, like, muscles. Just ripped ass. <laughs> <Delight. off of laughs> yeah, bodybuilder, kung fu <laughs> frame. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, who, who do you think? Okay. I mean, obviously, Rob Schneider was the most annoying character in the whole fucking movie. Personally, surprisingly, the funniest. I I thought he was, he was be more not annoying. the. He was, I, he was the he, he okay. He had the only funnies, but like it was there were like just so many of them that some of them had to land. Oh, yeah. Come on, man! Yeah. Because God, as we all know, dumb. money can't buy knives. That was <laughs> fucking oh, genius. God. My, I loved that. Uh, the the who, who's the guy that plays the cop dude? That's it's Tone Loke. Oh, that's Tone yeah. Loke, man. Tone so Loke. thank you. I loved his character was like, I'll cut him. I'd cut him for you, but I don't got a if knife. I had a knife. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, I hate Rob Schneider's uh, so much. We also have Ernie Ray Sr., which is uh, obviously his dad. Uh, uh, he Zatch, plays Zatch. Snatch. Yeah. Zatch. Zatch. The my, uncle. If, Zatch. I may, if I may backtrack, I have to like really remember these people's names. Ernie Ray plays Johnny. Rob Schneider plays Iggy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Ernie Ray Sr. plays Zatch. Yeah, and we also have uh, plays, Les Leslie Nielsen who, who plays, plays Colonel Chi. Right, yeah, and like four oh, scenes fuck, or some man. shit. <laughs> this is the greatest <laughs> thing. Like little uh, trivia about that. Um, apparently, Leslie Nielsen was devoted to his character so much that he was he stayed in character on and off the screen uh -huh. in order to like intimidate. 
Oh, the God. the kids and shit. I mean, Fuck, who is he? Rowan Atkinson being yeah. playing Mr. Bean when he goes to family events? Shit. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen as a warlord wheeling a katana is hilarious. An expat and then, warlord. And oh right. And and doing like a fucking Power Rangers jump or whatever off of off of like a balcony. Yeah. And, and like <laughs> getting crushed by an elephant from like a mile away or whatever. Oh no. Just that was fucking hilarious. I mean, how else would you become half robot? I mean, there's no other way other than getting trampled by an elephant. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, oh, it was, it was great. Like his, he, like, his like obsession, his and, obsession and fear with like water every time like and, water uh, gets close he like almost tries to answering the phone. pull like a Darth Vader thing on the guy. He's like, oh. I almost got wet. Yeah. He's gonna like touch, like he's gonna like like somebody's like he's gonna stab the guy or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With yeah. the, uh, what was I that? What got was he, wet. What was, he, what was he sharpening? It was like an electric, uh, Turkey knife or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> on a whetstone. <laughs> so I would like to point out a, a serious, like, mm. fucking bullshit, like, plot point. Because oh, Adam, with his little, plot. like, game gear or whatever the, the fuck they were trying thing. to. Like, I was wondering, I was wondering the, how much money uh, Sega played. Really, really quick. Paid them for this. Um, Sega didn't necessarily pay them. Sega Finance. The production. Ah, uh, there we That go. is why oh, there's so much word. Sega shit in there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The game because that he plays. The, Sega-seer. the game that he actually plays in it, the movie. It was real. It's a real game. Yeah, I know. Which was a bummer that they didn't put that out, but they put a Surf Ninjas video uh-huh, game out uh-huh. for the Game Gear. Yeah, it was trash. <laughs> I didn't play it. So. It's trash. So you did. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never owned a Game Gear. I. I did. I had. I used to mess with them for. I played with them. Mm. Game Gears are badass. Right? Yeah, for about like three hours or whatever, I think. For every, per, for every eight batteries, you chunk into that thing. It was six. <laughs> it, was six. it was six batteries. Yeah. yeah. It was awesome. Um, Actually, I think it was eight. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, But Adam was just supposed to be a seer, but somehow yeah. he could manipulate reality with that fucking video game. Yeah, that made exactly. no fucking sense. Because it's a game, and that's the essence of the game. It's control, and and if you're controlling the future, you're you're controlling the present. Uh, no, uh, you uh, see uh, the future. He's just supposed to like see, you know, into the. He's just supposed thing. to see surfboards. Not like, <laughs> not like be a wizard. <laughs> surfboards in the trees. The, I was, I was, uh, oh man, I was watching that that scene where they're like, "Don't use." What did they tell him? Like, "Don't use the, don't use the game gear. Just you, like use your mind or whatever." And then. That really bad what CG. What do you see? The trees. <laughs> see the trees. <laughs> you fucking idiot. And then okay, so let's like let's whittle like twenty fucking solid wood wooden surfboards in like one one scene in like twenty minutes. You know, and when teach I teach everybody when to when to I saw that scene, I was surf. like, wouldn't those sink? And, and, <laughs> yeah, it's very likely if they're that dense, they they probably would because they're uh, they're too heavy. Yeah, yeah. Even if it's wood, like the way most surfboards are, I think is like it. The, well, if the they're compound. master craftsmanship and uh, master craftsmen, and they could like, uh, I'm sorry, the the people of Patusan, yeah, if they were master craftsmen, yeah, uh-huh. like they could easily, I guess, will it build will, an will arc. it until like a certain way yeah. where it would float on the they water. They should have known that shit or whatever. I just thought it would have been funny if they all get. But in you the imagine water. how heavy those boards would have been? Oh, as they're like all like just carrying that shit. Absolutely, <laughs> they were heavier. They were probably heavier than they were. But I mean, I just wanted this, them all to get in the water and then just drown. <laughs> like, that would have been so funny. The people at Patusan, while mate, while fantastic craftsmen, cannot swim can't for swim shit. worth a fuck. They don't know how the fucking doggy paddle to save their lives. <laughs> and that's how Johnny lost his army. Yeah. Oh, that, that whole thing was fucking great. Um, just to go back to whoever's coming out in the movie, we have Kelly Who. Mm-hmm. Um, who plays Rome, which is the potential wife of Johnny? Yeah, from the uh, arranged oh, we marriage. We can date, right? Yeah, we can date. And Dude, then, he, then he's I was like, like she was, talking she about was, his, her when, as I, his when I wife. when she did that, I was like, man, she's playing him dirty, hardcore, mm-hmm. man. Word. He doesn't I care. Mean, he didn't really want to get married anyway. <laughs> no, he didn't want to get married, but I mean, he saw her. Yeah, I mean, at least, at least like, she gave him a little bit of an end, you know, like, yeah, we can date or something. But right, she was just like, oh, just trying to be nice. I was like, fuck, that's fucking hard. Yeah. I mean, got to be independent. What? And, uh, like I'm, in all of five minutes, she like matures and develops her own yeah, like, right. uh, uh, 
uh, personality. Identity. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was only kind of doing this because like they wanted me to, and I spent like all my entire life. And you know what? Now I, I'm not. I I don't feel like it. <laughs> you know, I broke. The, I I deprogrammed myself. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Cause, Cause, you're going twat, Johnny. I yeah. just, I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. You're no, not no, that famous. Feeling, right? Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I mean, the only time she kind of changed her tune about him was when he started like kicking ass and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, with his half sword or whatever the fuck that thing was. I thought it was like a broken prop when he when he got that like sacred sword thing from the cave. Oh right, right. Which glowed, by the way, and like oh, and brought glowed. out some music. It was oh yeah, yeah, the, the, like the, no, it, the, they put a spotlight on yeah. it for like two <laughs> seconds. That's called uh, it good. They played that uh, German ensemble or whatever, yeah, 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 kind of thing. Like, what? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Why does that? Uh, uh, you know, I mean, I, they just just use the fucking trope, though. Oh, yeah, right. and then when he fucking pulls that sword out. Like, yeah, fuck. I think they did something like that later. I can't remember where, but um, the more I watched the movie, though, like the less I, I, I guess I, I, I hated Rob Schneider's character, and the more my building rage at the little brother ended up like he was so fucking annoying yeah he's he's, he's kind god of god damn it it was like asian Fuck. home alone <laughs> god damn it like just die just die already kid like that, that kid was named nicholas owen and he did play the character of adam yeah. um, annoying little bastard with the fucking Sega game so game. annoying god damn adam it. you're driving bitching huh yeah oh yeah i like watching him shift gears like what he's never fucking done any of this before okay sure Let's let's just go with it. Um, I th- yeah. Do you know? Do you all remember when uh, fucking Ace Ventura came out? Yeah. It was around 1992, yeah. too, right? Mm, uh, was like Confirm me. I think it was 94. Yeah, because I was like, I was like, how many times has Tone Loke played a cop? Cop. I know, word. Like, I can only think of those two, and that's it. Um, 94. Oh, okay. So right after this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did such a smash up job that they just kept. Typecast to me. It <laughs> <laughs> gets, gets to play opposite fucking Jim Carrey. Um, yeah, so that, that must have been a treat. <laughs> uh, just to talk about like about the synopsis of this so movie. We, do you want to go back to the beginning then? Or uh, we'll just do like, a quick oh, yeah. uh, quick synopsis of the movie. Uh, uh, just to give uh, whoever's listening a quick uh, idea of what the movie is about if they've never what seen it. Expect? It's all about destiny. 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 It's your destiny. Destiny, it's be- destiny will say so. It isn't my destiny. <laughs> it is my destiny. It is your what destiny. What does destiny have it to is say? My destiny. <laughs> God damn it. Go fuck yourselves. Okay, so basically... I should have um, counted how many times they said it in that movie. <laughs> it follows two teenage surfers from Los Angeles who discover that they are crown princes of the Asian kingdom, Patusan, and reluctantly follow their destinies to dethrone an evil colonel that rules over the kingdom. Mm-hmm. And I was... They they discuss like when like or, or why they would automatically start gaining their powers. No, so because destiny... Because of destiny, yeah. uh, cause because like plot. That's it. That was it. Like <laughs> there wasn't any sort of supernatural force no, about. Let's, like let's, no, like it was it was they inherited these powers or whatever the the power to beat ass and the power to see the see the future in in shitty handheld uh, systems. Uh, yeah, I was just trying to think like what what Patusan sounded like to me as far as a name it was like it's somewhere between like some kind of like. And oh, food with entrails. Speaking of and- okay. Um, hmm? the one scene that annoyed me the most in this fucking like movie was the little uh, map scene where they're taking the boat. Oh, like, and it goes all the way across. Aren't they fucking like L.A., but they somehow start in like North Carolina and then like loop around, <laughs> yeah. go to yeah. the Panama Canal, and then go like... Yeah. <laughs> It's like that was a fucking direct you know, to Patusan. Uh, I was right thinking like may- shows maybe the they um, maybe they just uh, did that scene before the movie before they really decided where they were actually going to start off. And oh, they, so they that just, like, was it? They, they just, just like, want to fix it. They're like, we just want to fill some someone like uh, Indiana Jones style, but with a toy, uh-huh. toy boat, like yeah. going over the map. So they and then I guess everyone their, forgot somebody where uh, busted out their battle shit. Was. <laughs> like, they're like, oh shit, I think we need to go to the East Coast first. Right. <laughs> well, I mean... Uh, I somehow took that big boat over land from like, <laughs> LA. Like, <laughs> considering that they didn't like know where they're starting from, uh, 
in that scene uh, where Adam's in school and he's trying to find the the oh, find Spain. The country Spain, yeah. oh, and yeah. he keeps on just pointing to random he places points to like South America. Some yeah. people believe. Some, some, some people here. believe it's Say like that that's, Spain is here. It's like that's there are in, some schools India, of thought that believe it's here. <laughs> Other groups believe, and they have that one kid who's like with a stupid face. <laughs> Like, oh, yeah, that, that one kid made me laugh so hard because he's just an asshole. Terrible. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't like bring him back in anything else. Like that is his main part in the whole movie to mm. laugh like an asshole. Yeah, that was great. Um, so they go and realize their destinies to save their their their, their, their childhood kingdom, home man. or whatever the hell. Because Les, Leslie from Leslie Nielsen, Colonel Chi has taken. Villain. Has taken over Patusan, yeah. Um, yeah, because it looks like such a great country. And right? Shit. Yeah, exactly. He's he's so happy in his underground cave or whatever the fuck he lives, or like you know, a, it's like a dock or something. It's just I did with and, a phone. I did kind of enjoy that recurring. I mean, it's fucking stupid as hell, but that recurring the joke. The voicemail. Don't hang up. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, the recurring joke with uh, Rob Schneider thinking that he's actually he's the, the king, king and shit like that. Oh, oh good yeah. Distraction. And when, good uh, distraction. Um, all the way to the end of the movie the johnny tells him he's like you can't be the king you're not, you're not asian. asian he's like i got two words for you he's like fucking david, david carradine, carradine uh, and kung fu, kung fu. <laughs> Such a asshole god damn it yeah total fucking moron wow <laughs> um it's almost my favorite as fucking, fucking hair in uh, movie Iggy scene though in the entire movie is when he fucking just chucks the unlit stick of dynamite and hits like the yeah. driver of the fucking <laughs> nugget <laughs> over there. Him. I got him. Like light it. You're supposed to light it first. <laughs> and then they start murdering people left and right. Actually, my one of my favorite parts is when they introduce his character because I don't know if you guys caught this or not, but when uh, when their father Mac or I guess surrogate father Mac. Uh, uh, goes into the kitchen and Rob Schneider's there cooking and he's like, "Don't you have parents?" He's like, "Well, yeah, but like they're at they're at uh, they're, they live at a biodome and you know how those are like oh, you know, it's, yeah. it's very it's a controlled <laughs> environment and no one's allowed in and out and I'm like they abandoned you <laughs> they fucking <laughs> they just gave you up and live went to live on the hippie farm like you fucking loser uh, oh and then I mean also when. Like I, what was it? The first thing that that uh, at um, what are the what are the kids' names again? And it's like, Johnny and Adam. Johnny, Johnny and Adam. And Adam. Uh, the first things that they say to to their father uh, is like, "I love you, Dad." Psych. Psych. <laughs> like the both of them, like you guys are bitches. <laughs> yeah. And then um, breakfast homework fight. The way to the, the homework scene or, or the presentation scene. Oh uh, man! B- b- oh, before God, he man. does the Baba Ram bullshit. Oh, the fucking, but when they're like, talking about like, what excuse do I give him? It's like, he's like, what if you tell them I found out you were adopted? Yeah, <laughs> like, fucking idiot. <laughs> <sighs> I like the like the slightly ra- I, I don't know if it was if I was just reaching here, but the slightly racist undertones from the from the teacher as he was announcing uh, um, Johnny's uh, little like presentation to the to the Baba Ram. What did he say? Uh, An Asian American uh, student has been chosen to volunteer to prepare a welcoming presentation, which I've been assured is in the traditional ethnic style. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Uh, okay. And then they start playing, you know, Baba Ram. You know, uh, that uh, that first scene where the, I guess those ninjas, oh, those, clum- those clumsiest fuck ninjas break through to kind of take, take. Uh, they break through oh. the restaurant. So so before before you go into that one, I had, I had another scene that I wanted to mention before then. Like, do you remember when the ninjas first go to the school and yeah, they, drive, yeah. they drive up in that dump truck? <laughs> and you see the driver the driver get down and he does that like cartoon sneaky stealth like take he jumps down and he just goes <laughs> you know like he, he shakes his head left and, and yeah he looks yeah, both yeah. ways and then pulls throws the lever and then they come out and i just thought that was the dumbest shit ever like well, it's these, broad daylight these, assholes these are like the worst fucking ninjas oh yeah they were ever, wearing dude. like like a discount uh army surplus shit or whatever yeah. what are those like a beach camo wear or something or blue blue it was camo blue, i guess it's like oh, yeah. to like, blend into the fucking the night or something fuck? you know? yeah uh-huh some shit 
Um, I, I was gonna yeah. say, I was gonna say Go regarding ahead. that scene, uh, whenever they break into the restaurant, did you know? And they're, and they're fighting uh, the part where Rob Schneider does his little Asian. Oh God, yeah, <laughs> Asian voice. I was like, I know speak English. English. I know speak English. I, I know speak dishes. English. I watch dishes. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> asshole. Um did did you guys notice that before they jumped into the uh like uh, before the ninjas jumped in through the windows that uh uh Zatch like as as he's there, you know, nodding at Mac, you know, when he first walks up to him, he's like, Oh yeah, oh it's him. He's fucking standing there as the ninjas jump to either side of him through, yeah, yeah. through the fucking uh window. He didn't even fucking hear he didn't them do coming. Shit. He was just standing like ah, oh, it was and then, then he, he breaks through the fucking wood. I was like, just jump <laughs> yeah. through the fucking open area. There's already a hole in the whole frame. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking idiots. Uh, he has Way to, to waste like- energy when you're about to go try to assault a trained protector of the fucking royal heirs. <laughs> yeah, Dumb it fucks. was. <laughs> I, I loved how they showed like him just even even as the ninjas were jumping through, he was also standing there. Like They didn't even try to hide it. Like, it was all the same fucking... All the same. You know, scene. you know the fight scenes in this movie. Like, I, I, I they, personally would have thought they that. Yeah, they oh, they seem almost like three tolerable. three ninja <laughs> three ninja style. Yeah. Uh, where like they show them kick people, <laughs> but they look like they're just softly kicking people, yeah. and they can, like flip or there's over like a foot away like or something. Yeah. Yeah, like the, you could you could see like the mist mm-hmm. of the face and well, shit. That like was that. a whiff, bro. I'm gonna tell you oh. right now, like the fight scene in fucking Last Dragon is ten times better uh, yeah. than any fight oh. scene that I saw in any of this fucking movie. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Hell yeah, and dude. speaking uh. of fuck, I I wanna go back to another Iggy joke mm-hmm. that I thought was fucking hilarious. Which one? Because he had a great some great moments in there, but when they discover that Zatch smokes, because that's how they get the light. What does he say? What does he say when he breaks the fourth wall? I was trying to hear that. Look who he's I'm talking like, to. You should go That's on the patch. Look who I'm saying that to. Yeah, yeah thank you. He, he like, Again, looks right into like, the camera. The, he's, patch or the like whole that. time. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. That's what he says. The whole time he's making fucking like one eye jokes or whatever. And the, yeah, through the dude, whole just, movie, he's like, I want you to. When he first meets me, I want you to keep an eye on them and an eye on them. Uh, oh, well, yeah, just just try your best. Just try your best. Like you I love the binocular prick. scene too, where like first Johnny's looking and he passes to Katsu and then just shows like the one lens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, patched one. Yeah, just also this is something I didn't look up, but uh, um, at one point Adam calls the ninjas Quimbies. Like I, I don't know Quim- what the, yeah. he calls them Quimbies. Like he calls them like these like the, like the, a bunch of Quimbies or like this guy looks like a Quimby or some some crap. I don't know what the fuck that. You was. know some of his I I didn't understand some, uh, some of his. Lingo. choice of words like for instance Chinese when styling. when they're in the, the actual the, the Chinese restaurant when they had just met oh, uh, Rome for the first Don't time eat the chicken. <laughs> well well he he tells uh, Rome he's like you know it'd be great if you ran like a mother and call, got one one eyed Willie the something black belt and when he says run like a mother what the fuck does that mean run like a mother like I, I, I mean, would you say like, like run like a I motherfucker? Yeah, exactly. trying to say run like a motherfucker, yeah. but it's a kids movie. Yeah, right. Right. but it, it just sounded fucking weird. I was just like, what and the the, fuck the, does that the, mean? the I guess the you say motherfucker. Oh, I I get what you mean, you know. But uh, yeah, the owner of the store like sounded like uh, like um, the Asian guy from South Park who runs <laughs> shitty sushi. <laughs> Table for four, right this way. Have some shitty sushi. Like oh 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 no. <laughs> Shitty walk. Yeah, thank you. Shitty walk. Shitty walk. walk yeah. <laughs> uh. Um, let's see what else uh, happens in this I movie. I did like one funny thing that Adam said when he was talking to Zatch where he was like, there's no gray area with you. It's, the glass is either half full or we're dead. And I was, like, <laughs> that was, okay I was yeah. like, that's a funny thing for a kid to say. Okay. <laughs> I'll run with that. Um... What is that? I, when I was when I was a kid, I, I think I saw this movie in the theater like maybe like four times. Jesus Christ! And it's because I guess at the time, like I was really into like these like really kitty martial arts movies. I mean, I think I probably saw Three Ninjas the same amount as well. Mm-hmm. Um, what about I, the sequels? No, nah, I saw I, I saw those Dude. on VHS. Okay, which no, I rented plenty of times too. Thought you were gonna say like uh, yeah, I was, laser disc. <laughs> I feel it, man. Um, my one of my coworkers was really pissed off at me because I watched this movie without him. 
<laughs> he, he was just okay. like, so what'd you do last night, man? And I was like, oh, well, fucking, you know, watch Surf Ninjas to for like the podcast. So, like, we're covering that this month. He was like, it's like, and you didn't fucking watch it with me? I love that movie. It was like, <laughs> see, that was I still have that on man. VHS, motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> oh, that shit. is awesome. Damn it, dude. That would have been a cool, uh, a cool guess. Uh, speaking of uh, co workers and Just Surf saying. Ninjas, um, I had actually ordered this movie and I bought it recently on DVD because I don't think it's available in anything other format. No. Um, and the girl that I was when I was per- making the purchase, she goes, "Oh my, my husband like really likes this movie. He, he, uh, he bought it." And I was like, "I, I it's a terrible movie, mm-hmm. but I mean, I enjoy it a lot." Right. And it's she's like, good. "Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's. I mean, okay. Realistically, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's a guilty pleasure. Yeah, yeah, like, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Very guilty. And she said, "Like we, he like my husband loves this movie so much. Like we, he bought it too, and he had just bought it recently too. And he, we watched it, and she was like, oh my god, the movie just so bad.' And I go, <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> it's just so bad.' I go, and she's like, he's like, she's like, I just don't understand, like." what the appeal of this movie is i go i go well you're not like you weren't like a boy when you when you saw these movies and like a like 12 year old kid walking through the and and you're you're obsessed all these like shitty nunchucks and knives yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) i want some size uh, you want some a comb switchblade they were super useful to defend yourself (laughs) yeah Yeah, i i had a comb switchblade dude i i had fucking swords and uh nunchucks when i was growing up yeah i mean i no you, you can fucking watch these movies. You're like, I can do any of this yeah. shit. And of course you can't. But, nope. Um, you like to think you can. Mm-hmm. So because you're a kid and you don't yeah, know any exactly. better. Or you're, <laughs> yeah, you're a kid. And, and your parents don't give a fuck. They're not. They're yeah. just like, yeah, he's happy. <laughs> oh, he he went outside. Yeah. You see him swinging his fucking. <laughs> he's like fucking heavy ass wood things. Like. <laughs> you hit your balls. Yeah, you hit fine. your head. Always. You know? like, yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Um, but I I haven't really met too many other people. Who have enjoyed this movie? I mean, especially if they saw it, they didn't see it when they were kids. I mean, yeah. I imagine. Well, actually, when I put it on again, I was like, "Man, am I really gonna enjoy this fucking movie?" And I, I was laughing the whole fucking time. I was like, "Man, these jokes mm-hmm. are fucking dumb. This story yeah. is stupid. Um, there's no reason any of this should work." But I mean, fucking Leslie Nielsen gets disarmed like he's got a <laughs> gun. Like the kid throws his game gear at him and just knocks it off. Like, <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> And like, yeah, that's what I'm saying is like all those little things where they, they do kicks, they do, they throw something and like fucking yeah. people will flip. Things Always. get knocked all Somebody over the place. Somebody gets kicked you know? in the well, face and, and then he does like, like a the scene where the guy keeps getting shit. knocked down the stairs and oh, yeah, he throws yeah, himself yeah. down the stairs at the, at the end, end of the yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. Like, well, newsflash, yeah. your side lost. Your side lost. And then he fucking okay, just Okay, <laughs> just throw myself <laughs> down. Oh, 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 and <laughs> the way he falls, the, oh, 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 um, I guess uh, from this movie it goes to uh, them finding out that they are royalty. They man, they they go to a certain point where they fucking they can make those surfboards that didn't make any sense. No, they whittled they, them down. They, they whittled, them, whittled them down in what solid. I, solid I'm gonna say like a good time trees. frame of like. Let's let's give them thirty, 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah, yeah thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and they each made their own fucking board. Yeah. And, and somehow everyone learned how to surf. Everyone learned how to surf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Even what? Rob Snyder. Yeah, I was never I was, done it before. I was, think, I was thinking to myself. I mean, instead of surfing, they if they didn't know how to surf, they could have boogie boarded their way yeah, maybe. all the way across. You know, if they're gonna just like paddle their way, right? Couldn't they have made a that. raft? They could have done that. Well, they, they made like some did. fucking like, they didn't like a jump catamaran. on the boards until they were like a hundred feet out. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Anyway, it's like stupid. Like I was like at some when when they were like about to ride the wave. I mean. They could have just stayed on the fucking line, not down on the board, and fucking See, wrote it. And that in, could have know? been a power play by Johnny too, with his like, with his newly like found people or whatever. It's like, yeah, look what your king can do, bitches. Like, yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah, you know what? It would have been cool to have like a, a teaching surf montage or something that he could have done for them. <laughs> with you know? all the like, fucking faux pas, absolutely. And, shit. <laughs> and then with Rob Schneider, and they're just fucking things up left and right. That would have been awesome. I By the way, guys, I'm going to say that. it now. Hands down, this is like Rob Snyder's probably best performance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, 
Well, my not, not, not even Adam Sandler he, gives him he, that he much. He uh, goes in there like Polly Shore, Bio like uh, well, or whatever. Any, dialogue, like dialogue, yeah, yeah. Time, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, and pretty much he was like the he had the, the most lines. Release, yeah, he had the most lines by far. Uh, going going off, uh, I guess uh, Rob Schneider's quotes. I have a few written down here. Mm-hmm. Um, we have talked about. Uh, when they're actually going to surf for the first time, and uh, he's like, "Oh, I'll meet you guys there. I got to put wax on the board." Yeah, like and they're an like, "Well, oh, what?" And he's like, "Well, yeah, I got to put wax on the old wave to friction reducing uh, wax on the old <laughs> old man to wave friction reducing vehicle." Yeah, yeah. Surf. And then they look at him. He's like, "Surfboard." And he's just there, fucking like yeah. the whole time, just putting like wax talking on. to random people as they go by. Oh, oh, just got to wax it down. <laughs> Or, right. um, and then when the moto surfing, the moto oh, surfing, yeah, God. <laughs> that's like a play on the fucking uh, Teen Wolf. Um, oh, oh yeah, what did this? What did he say when he's gonna fucking do that? They play that Beach Boy songs and he's fucking on top of the fucking yeah. car. Yeah, yeah, um, doing the handstand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, my, my favorite, my favorite scene about any of that though is when they're when they're pulling into the high school and you see the cop pulled over those like other group of kids and they're like, "We weren't moto serving officer." They had a fucking paddle. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I, oh, uh, by the way, Ray, I, I'm not sure if you misspoke earlier, but I'm, I looked up some quotes too. Um, but apparently, it was Johnny who told Rome. You know what would be really great is if you'd run like a mother and get Winky the one-eyed black belt. Yeah, Winky the one-eyed belt, black belt. Yeah, that's that's where I messed up, yeah. Uh, but that is the one. <laughs> I mean, I, we, I don't think we know, mentioned it, but um, uh, Ernie Ray is junior and senior are, are yeah. both in here. And seniors is his father uh, who yeah. plays Zatch, which I just I, I thought that was fucking cool. Uh, just FYI. And he also uh, coordinated all the martial arts yeah. choreography. Mm-hmm. Like, er- Ernie Ray's Jr. is actually a, well at, at this point he was a fourth degree black belt on Taekwondo. Oh word! So I mean he knows his shit. Mm-hmm. And as of, as of now they still have schools open where they teach martial arts. So oh, yeah. Um, well, one of the other quotes I was thinking of is um when uh Rob Schneider is like about to leave that place after he did that little Asian, uh, no speaking English. I won't yeah. wash the dishes. When he's about to take off, he's like, uh, normally I'd stay and fight, but it's a school night. But it's <laughs> his, his, his delivery is quite quite good. I also and, love uh, the scene where they're hopping in the car to go to the boat and fucking Johnny and Adam bought like the fucking like rice paddy hat and like the little like oh, oh, disguises thing so they can <laughs> be in disguise. Schneider, Schneider gets that fucking braided cap or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was, um, I was I was hoping he would have gotten the Fu Manchu uh, mustache to go with it, something. <laughs> Completed. Oh, that would have been fucking icing on the cake. Yeah. Uh, one of the other quotes is after they left the the restaurant when all the ninjas were kind of like invading, um, and uh, Zatch pulls them all together and like puts Rob Schneider like in a headlock and can they kind of just like run right, away? Right. He was talking. And he about- says like, uh, I, "I've never said this to another man, yeah. but I, I I felt really safe in your arms." Yeah. Anyway, I've never ever said this to another man before. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see what else. And oh, oh, what when I they want to know is how oh. Lieutenant Spence cleaned up after he found his his uh, handcuff key. Yeah, because he took a shit. Basically. Yeah, he had to he had yeah. to shit out that key, right? I mean, couldn't he have puked it up? And, uh, no, after a few days. Was it? How, is that how long? He said because he, he swallowed it last Tuesday, yeah. and oh fuck! Then Adam asked him, "How'd you know you're gonna need it?" And he said, "I swallowed it every Tuesday." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I wonder what kind of a hard up life Lieutenant Spence has, like where he like, feels like he has to fucking worry about swallowing his fucking handcuff keys. Well, there's, like, fucking, there's, there's fucking ninjas really all over the place. Then. Cop who always gets his co- his. There's some stupid teenagers motor surfing. Him. There's ninjas everywhere. I liked uh, when 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 he was fighting and uh, like he turns that weapon into a makeshift nightstick and he's like, finally, oh, this like, feels this feels something familiar. And like instead of using it, he just pu- like gut punches <laughs> somebody. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I was like, what? <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> you know, speaking of the the swallowing of the key, uh, Roland, I don't know if you remember in uh, Ninja Three Domination where uh-huh. the, the ninja like pops up that fucking key out of his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, I just wonder, is he swallowing it or he, like is he like his ninja powers could have brought it to the surface? He and just, he, then he just, oh, he just had it in his mouth. Powers, he sticks his finger down his throat or whatever <laughs> until like this <laughs> gag Summons reflex. Yeah. yeah, right. The gag summon or uh, esophagus ninjutsu. Oh, there was one scene that was so quick 
Mm-hmm. I re- rewound it like three times because I was found it, it so fucking where, funny. Oh, okay. Where Rob Schneider's talking to the sh- uh, one of the Asian chefs mm-hmm. after all the shit went down, and he's like. He goes, even though they ask you to put no MSG, you still put it in. Right? Yes, that was hilarious. And the, and the guy's just like, uh-huh. yeah. like, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking hilarious. It's so, and it's so fucking quick, too. Like, mm-hmm. um, that one was subtle. Like, I could have yeah. believed that that was just Rob Schneider on his own, almost. I was, I'm, I'm hoping was some real... of those were like improv, man. Cause, yeah, like, exactly. This fucking SNL uh, alumni, man. I mean, he should have some kind of skill to just like just throw those low out ball there, those you know? ones. That seemed like a Rob Schneider low ball. Yeah. Which is like, cool. Okay, there we go. That was awesome. Um, just to bring some other trivia into this movie. Uh, I mean, again, it's it's a real quick movie. The, yeah. the plot itself is like Nothing. full of fucking holes. Yeah. There's not really any I mean, sort like, of... Um, so they, they surf across this little uh, lake o- uh, yeah. ocean part and apparently are able to keep the dynamite that they carry up their asses completely dry. Dry, <laughs> yeah. You know, and then so like they throw enough of the dynamite to basically blow up a building and it just like murders all of the You know, army. like when they, when they climb the fucking wall and they're like, they go over, I was like, they are easily visible Yeah, to anyone down there just yeah, watching. Yeah, but, but, but I think you notice this uh, when they uh, both times when they first throw the hooks up there, the army turns away because they're doing their training. And then again, when they climb up, they just so happen yeah. to, to, to turn their backs yeah. again. <laughs> so they're safe. They're in the clear. I mean, a um, bunch of assholes. We've talked a lot about Rob Schneider, which is like a comedian. Mm-hmm. Uh, what about Leslie Nielsen? I mean, in his role in this fucking movie, I thought he was See, fucking hilarious. I think hilarious. we should have had more moments with I Leslie wish, Nielsen. Yeah. I like, wish he had. Been, like, I mean, he had some funny the, the whole phone he's thing. He's running around you know, in a kimono. The phone thing was just a constant trope through there. It was hilarious. Yeah. Like, don't hang up. Don't hang up. <laughs> and then, and then, like he, when he's when he's talking to them, when he when he answers the phone, he talks to him. Did you call earlier? No. Ah! And he like throws the phone in the in the in the lake or whatever, and the and the and the prisoners are laughing at him. Yeah, or the scene where he's like talking on the phone, he's like, "I want them dead." And then he's like, "Hold on, I got call waiting." Yeah, I want them dead. Dead. Kill them. <laughs> I want them. And then I'm back. Yes, dead. Kill them. Kill them, Kill them all. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I I thought we would have more from Leslie Nielsen, that him been probably great. being the biggest star in this whole fucking movie. But yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean it was he had, funny like, a very enough to see part, him you know? wearing. Like ceremonial uh, samurai armor, and yeah. <laughs> I mean, and again, and he's like half robot. Too. Yeah, he's a fucking cyborg uh, samurai or whatever. He almost looks like the cyborg character from fucking Justice. Uh, Fuck, there <laughs> is it. Yeah, he does. Really? And there actually is a movie called Cyborg Samurai that the dudes from, uh, uh, I think it was a Riff Tracks production, oh, really? but they totally ripped on that. Uh huh. Cool. I'll look it up. I think I told you before, but Riff Tracks has a 24 7 uh, Twitch channel that they always, it's always just playing random stuff. It's pretty great. If, uh, if uh, anyone listening hasn't heard of that, it's, it's worth, worth checking out. Oh, found another Iggy quote. God damn it, Robert Schneider was so good in this movie. <laughs> um, when he poses as their uncle or whatever. Oh, all right, oh, kids, yeah. come in here and clean up your bloody room. I know well because I'm 37. Don't yeah. <laughs> my leg of mine that no longer works because yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> and then he, he, he brings that shit back. Yeah, when, when they're, they're like, at the ship, when they're on the yeah. ship. Like, come on, kids, I'm 37. Come on, kids, let's go, let's go. And like, what is I don't this? Know, Stop the, that the, shit. the under the reasoning for his age preference. Uh, in the disguise, like, Very come on, kids, I'm 37. Let's go and clean your rooms. <laughs> Lad is, you know, it's fucked up. Is that what, what, do, what do they say? He's a distant relative, yeah. <laughs> you know, he's like, when, he's, when he says, like, I'm 37, I was like, shit, I'm 37, yeah. <laughs> man. <laughs> it's like, should I, be, should I be in a fucking wheelchair by now? Ha, um, just uh, some more trivia about this movie. Um, all the scenes in Patusan were actually filmed in Thailand, so they actually went a pretty far I mean it looks like they got they actually got some uh, some people that live there to uh, to uh, and how'd you like that really well hidden cave that had those fucking statues before it <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Everything was just so conveniently placed. So like mm-hmm. there was really nothing that they had to hunt. Where's for. this thing we're looking for? Oh, let's just and look some more. This Whoa. like omniscient monkey that could show fucking Adam where the lever was. Uh, it's called Providence. I mean Destiny. Uh, there was another. There was another uh, uh, trivia moment here that Patusan is the country that Ernie Reyes Jr. was from in the show Sidekicks. 
I don't know if y'all remember that Fucking show. Funny sidekicks. Yeah, the Chuck Norris movie. No, 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 the TV show. <laughs> nah, I don't remember. I think he's like he's like a little dude like beating up people. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing the kid from Tropic Thunder. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, best um, Adam line. You know what they say? Chicks got a veil. Dude, yeah, better dude, bail. bail. What was uh, what was the other one they said? Um, there was like. Oh, if, she, if she covers her face, pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. <laughs> and then Rob Schneider, yeah. like, she's, 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 she's trying to hide it. She's, she's not very attractive. Very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> like, she's afraid Idiot. to show it. She's probably, probably not, not very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, they shot yeah, the, yeah. They did shoot this movie in five weeks. Wow. That's pretty quick. Yeah, it shows. And <laughs> the yeah. original title of this movie was Surf Warriors. Mm-hmm. But surfing just just sounds cooler, you know. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I w- and as as we went through the the episode here, we did go through a lot of uh, trivia again with Leslie Nielsen staying in character mm-hmm. uh, to be intimidating for some reason or another. Doesn't make I any mean, sense. I would probably I, be I kind of like, intimidated if Leslie Nielsen honestly, was acting if, like if, that around if, me. Well, if he was acting like that, I feel like I would just be laughing the whole time. But it's just because I mean, yeah, like, 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 yeah. he's an airplane. He, like, you're yeah. not fooling anybody. I'd, yeah. I'd want to laugh until like I saw his cold, dead eyes. <laughs> Oh, and then you have like Naked Gun too. I mean, like, come on. Now. Yeah, I was actually just looking up what year they came out. Because it was in the 80, 88. Yeah. Yeah, man. You would have Naked Gun. I, mean, I can't see Leslie Nielsen and like not fucking laugh, you know? No. Um, as far as the director of this movie, I, haven't, I don't, I didn't catch the name of that. And I don't know if he actually did anything else. Um, um, well, that's what IMDb is for. I'll look it up. <laughs> well, actually, I, I intended to write it down and then I just forgot. Mm-hmm. You got distracted didn't. by all the motor surfing. Didn't surfing. write it down. Pulled a roll and prepared so well for the episode. Always. Yeah. I've got my news. I probably got more preparation for um, other movies. I mean, oh, this Neil well. Israel. Neil is the Israel. director. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a director and writer known for Bachelor Party, Real oh. Genius, Look Who's Talking To. <laughs> no shit. Real Genius yeah. and. And Look Who's Talking To. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. Wow. A bachelor party? Wow, that's pretty crazy. I didn't know he did those. Well, I mean, at least he got some merits on him. I mean, those are some classic ass movies too. Real genius is the shit. Mm. Um, I guess we want to bring it down to uh, ratings. He also directed a couple episodes of The Wonder Years, or maybe he wrote oh. for them or whatever. It doesn't mm. specify. I'm just looking at his. It just says oh, yeah, no, it says that's his directing credits. Yeah, so, oh, no shit. So he's got some then, dramatic, uh, dramatic you, uh, credits there do you too. Guys, do any of you guys have a favorite fight scene? I know oh, that was a good thing before we do ratings and stuff like that. Favorite fight scene. I um, kind of liked when Zatch is first introduced and he was beating the fuck out of everyone with a skateboard because that looks like it would hurt like fuck. The the skateboard when he's using that that looks pretty brutal. Mm-hmm. Uh, that almost seems like the most legit, I guess, shot. Yeah, fight scene. <laughs> yeah, I think it was. Um, and next to uh, only because it was dark. <laughs> next to Ernie Reyes Jr. when he's actually like fighting after like they've invaded the the kingdom and shit. What about? Because uh, uh, it looks like he's actually like he has like a look when he's like punching people. Oh like, yeah, really yeah, fucking hitting people. Yeah, you know? exactly. He does that like lion scream at Leslie Nielsen in the end. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that two. that was fucking dumb. Yeah. No, <laughs> uh, no one actually, was just when, a fucking moment when he was fighting the other one. He was, he, yeah. His his fighting in in that scene though was uh, well, it looked pretty convincing. Like he was doing the the fucking triple round. But he looks like he actually has like, that. and he looks like he has some power behind right. what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Which looks like he's actually fucking hitting somebody. I mean, he wasn't, but like, no, he, he wasn't. Had, but if I mean, he had, they probably like would have probably would have hurt somebody. Yeah, easily. I actually, I really liked. Uh, what about the when, uh, when they're in the cave and uh, Johnny's not trying to fight. Zatch. Oh, I thought that was cool. Just like all of the dodging and stuff, and the rolls and shit, and just this the commentary during it was just fucking funny. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> and uh, then my my favorite scene though is how a trained ninja assassin gets fucking frying pan by Mac. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then like uh, he picks up another guy and puts him on the stove and cooks his ass. <laughs> um, I did. Li- I thought that my the funniest fight moment i thought was uh kind of a tie-up because leslie nielsen is so goddamn funny in this when he's in when he's fighting but i really liked when zatch was fighting that one uh commander ninja and he 
Uh, I mean, it was it was a stupid gimmick, but like Adam busts out the game gear and he's picking weapons. It's like nunchuck, sword, oh, chopsticks. <laughs> yeah, and that was like, five, that, yeah. chopsticks for five hundred points. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> yeah. And he fucking gets that and like You're just nose, jams him up his whatever. nose. I'm like, oh, ooh. yeah, that looks like it. I mean, that looks like it would hurt. You know? Yeah, it might have stung. Just slight, <laughs> slight pressure, you know. Um. And funnily enough, when uh, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but I've I've seen videos on Reddit of people like trying to eat octop- uh, octopus uh, raw, and like they fuck but it they, up. Yeah, they don't they like some of like the suction oh, yeah, gets stuck you, to their tentacles. Right. Get there's, stuck yeah. there's two ways. Like they can they can they can choke <laughs> if uh, if the uh, if they eat it the wrong way, and the other way is that if the octopus tries to fight back. Yeah. Like I saw a video of a woman like she the, it, the octopus stuck to her face. <laughs> and so she had to pull it off and it was pulling her face with it like yeah. oh it's bad and uh, i was just thinking about that when adam selects the octopus weapon or whatever 500 points yeah 500 points and just jams <laughs> it in that dude's face i'm thinking like oh fuck yeah he's fucked i like how it has like more i guess it's worth more alone, it's worth more points the less practical the weapon the is dumber it is <laughs> yeah so I mean, because I mean, the, you would think like any Fight of those him other, with this bowl of rice, <laughs> yeah, right? One thousand points, one up. They're gonna drown in the fucking rice, you know? Yeah, no, he'll choke. Yeah, they'll choke. Right. They'll choke pretty hard. Can't just shh, shh, oh shit! Shh, just so go to sleep. Apparently, go to sleep. In 1998, 1999, and 2005, uh, Ernie Reyes Jr. Uh, did MMA shit. It's a, he has a kickboxing record here on his Wikipedia. Oh, cool. So. His hard. first match, he he won all three. Um, first was a KO in round in three rounds, Damn. and then the other two went five rounds, and they're both a decision. Um, five fucking but, rounds, man! That'll take a shit ton out of you lasting that long. I'm kind of curious, so uh, maybe we should try and Look find up, these and you know. check them out. And apparently, he was an Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal yeah, Skull yeah, he was. as a cemetery warrior. He also oh, came out with The no. Rock in uh, The Rundown, too? Yes. Uh, rundown, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was um, one of my favorite uh, scenes with him, because he fucks everybody up. Like yeah. He really does a good job choreographing uh, his fights there. Uh, you know, I, I saw an, I saw an interview with them in, uh, on uh, YouTube, and like he talks about it like it's just like, yeah, man, like they called me up, and I just I win, and I was just hanging out the rock and stuff. It was really cool. Like, like there's no um, like pretense, or yeah, anything. pretense or like pretentiousness or anything. Very, you're uh, just kind of like, hey, like uh, I got to do it. It's really cool. Then they paid me. Like, <laughs> yeah, and they paid me. Yeah, yeah so. exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's he's very uh, like matter of fact about the whole yeah. thing. Um, yeah, he seems 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 like a cool dude. Hey, does anyone have anything else to add before we do ratings? Um, let's see. Fuck no. And what's what's funny is I, I think that we pretty much uh, covered most of our. I mean, covered the movie. Probably like, covered right? the entire fucking movie. I mean, <laughs> yeah. There wasn't a lot of substance no. to it. No, so. no, no, but there just, was a whole yeah. lot to like note. I yeah, mean, like yeah, for sure. I thought the best worst Rob Schneider joke was when he breaks the fourth wall because that was just like <laughs> he's looking at the camera, he's looking right at me. Oh god damn it! <laughs> does Rob Schneider make you nervous? No, 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 no. It's the opposite. Makes me. Uh, I try to. Well, keep I, I the, mean, I try to control the cringe. Just, I mean, looking at anything, Rob, Rob Schneider, Schneider comes with out, flame red hair. Yeah, where he comes out in now, like where he's more annoying because I mean, all he does is like, you can do it. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. That's pretty much all it is. But I mean, now pay me. You this, can cut me. The this check. role, this role of his. I mean, minus like Deuce Bigelow or some shit like that. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> probably one of his funniest. What ones, was uh, what was the one where he plays plays a guy that is brought back with like animal parts? Do you remember the animal? One? The animal is it the animal? <laughs> <It's> the animal. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Snyder is okay. Is a vegetable <laughs> in the carrot. <laughs> <laughs> I love my South Park. Oh man, wow, they, so yeah, good. that was great. Uh, <laughs> um, I think that's, so. That's about it. Are we all good to go with ratings? Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Rolling, just yeah, uh, looking yeah. at his no, notes. I'm looking. I think he's got pretty much everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, just uh, on ratings here, IMDb uh, rates this at a five out of ten. Mm. Rotten Tomatoes, eleven percent. Wow. wow, bunch of cunts. Uh, oh, it's better than that. Come yeah. On. Well, uh, and I didn't see anything on Google years bitches. necessarily. Uh, but uh, Roland, we're gonna start with you. What do you give? Uh, Surf Ninjas, uh, mind you, this is a regular one out of five rating. So yeah, when I'm I'm trying to remember what I thought of this movie as a kid, and I'm 
fairly sure I fucking loved it. Uh, now, I mean, I still think it's pretty damn, pretty damn funny. Uh, it's got a lot of pretty good, uh, pretty good stars in there. Actually, I mean, they're not, they're not, not exactly no names, uh, and uh, they all, they all sort of gelled pretty well. Uh, even the like the really stupid parts. Uh, you know, every time anyone said destiny, uh, <laughs> so I'd probably give this one like a four. Yeah. Now, you know what? Three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. Yeah. I give it three and a half. Uh, you know, you, you said Destiny. I just remember when they, when Zatch catches the bullet and he's like, go, go, my nephews. And then they're like, it's your destiny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and then he's playing on, 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 uh, on Rob Schneider's powers. What does he say? Uh, I think it doesn't hurt. I think it is getting better. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey. It works. No, no, it doesn't. Uh, Daniel, Asshole. what do you give Surf Ninjas? Okay. Before that, I do have one last little factoid about the movie that I just stumbled upon. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Kelly Hugh was a former Miss Teen USA in 1995. Yeah, yeah. I believe and it. And Miss Hawaii USA in 93. It's very hot. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm going to give it like 2.5 Kwansu dudes. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. 2.5. <laughs> what, what did they say in the end that they thought it meant? Uh, Adam was like, it must mean like free beer or something. Free beer, yeah. Because <laughs> they really like this word. It must mean something like free beer. <laughs> it's funny. Like they've been saying this shit the whole oh, time. Uh, and, like The whole fucking not time. Not knowing anything about what it meant. And did they ever reveal what it meant? No. No, right? He, no. No fucking And thing. they never revealed what... Uh, Rome uh, was gonna was told those uh, soldiers oh, yeah, to get there. Oh, yeah. You'll find bong, out on our wedding night. Town. I was like, this chick just invited him out to a gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> like, five of these motherfuckers are all at once. <laughs> like, what the shit? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to give this movie uh, just a solid three. I did have lots of fun watching this movie and I watched it a million times. I probably watched it a million times again. Um, the reason it's getting a three, frankly, is just because the acting's terrible. Oh, yeah. The fight scenes are kind of okay. Mm. Um, the story itself is it's trash. garbage. Uh, uh, but, I mean, I did have fun. Uh, Rob Schneider was funny. Hamming it up. The, it was everything about it was just stupid, mm -hmm. but I Leaned did enjoy it. it and I had fun watching it. So I, yeah. I, I can't go any lower than a three. I can't go into really, I can't really justify in good, it in good to faith. yourself. Yeah, I can't justify going any higher uh, than a three. So you're such a, um, you're such a critic. Hey man, I, I honestly, if this movie was just a tad bit better as far as the acting or the fight scene. If the fight scenes were a lot better. Mm -hmm. I probably jump it up to a four. <laughs> I mean that could easily have done it for me but I mean of course it's a kids movie because they didn't have that fucking as... surf montage that I was talking about that's what it needed <laughs> <laughs> yeah that, that, that's what that would have that would have brought, <laughs> brought, brought it around full circle mm. really, really tied the movie together yeah yeah, yeah there you go like um Daniel yeah, yeah. What? so wait so what was uh Daniel's was uh 2.5 Quantum 2.5 Quantum dudes. dudes that's right yeah okay okay so um uh, I guess that concludes our episode of Surf Ninjas. Yeah. And, check it out. Uh, I mean, it's, it's yeah, with, yeah with, check, uh, check it's it out. It's on, a fun uh, watch. You know, I mean, you can watch it with your kids. I think it's, it's on. Is it on Amazon? Terrible. And uh, you have you have, you you have, you have to buy it. You have to buy it. it. Okay. Or you you get it on Plex. Uh, oh, yeah, no yeah. comment on how that happened. I mean, if you uh, was it well, uh, thanks for you know taking your copy of the DVD and you know just uploading yeah, it. Yeah, that's what we know, did. No worries, right? Yeah, yeah, sweet. Uh, thanks, y'all. The, the first, the first rule about Plex: nobody talks about Plex. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. The first rule of Plex is that nobody talks about Plex. Um, okay, so uh, follow us on uh, all the social medias: Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're at MoQuest Studios. Um, we do have um, mochastudios.com. That is our website. You can check us out there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, subscribe uh, if you can. That'd be pretty awesome. We like dollar dues for Patreon. Um, well, we have uh, content right now available for Patreon. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, any early re any re recordings that we do automatically go up on Patreon. Suggestions are always And then welcome. they get released as well. They get re released accordingly mm -hmm. uh, as due to the schedule. <clears throat> so uh, if you do have access to Patreon, you will have access to all the episodes as they are made. Yep. So um, 
Again, you can also follow us on Patreon. Uh, we are also at Patreon at Mocha Studios. Uh, if you have any suggestions for movies, or like maybe not even a movie necessarily, but a movie maybe, related topic, maybe there's something we missed. You can uh, again get about. us on yeah, the social media. Best media's. boy grip, apart from yeah. Ray. Yeah. yeah, there you go. You can get us on social media, or you can email <laughs> us at moquestgmail.com. Uh, so, um, y'all have anything else to add? Nope. Um, Kwan Su dudes, thank Kwan you. Kwan Su dudes, <laughs> <laughs> not saying that. Say it, say it, and, oh, say it. This is actually like our fucking shortest episode. Free ever, beers. <laughs> We're trying to make it like very tight and concise. You know? Yes, yes. Toy, like a tiger. <laughs> mm. Kwan Su dude, come on, Roland, say it. No, <laughs> <laughs> free beers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, until next time. See ya. Peace.